Hi. In this video, we're going to use the count if statement again to count the number of uh, people that have taken two days gaming break per week. And there are three possible responses. There's yes, there's no, and there's not answered. We're going to do something different with this though. So rather than just returning the numerical value, what we're going to do is convert that into, into a percentage. So we're going to get a percentage of people who have taken a break, percentage of people who have not taken a break, and a percentage of the people who haven't answered. So in order to work out the percentage, we also need to know the total number of responses. And that's the first thing that we're going to do. So if you look at the cleanse data sheet, we have a number of questionnaires. Okay, so we're looking at uh, that number of questionnaires. And you can see at the bottom, I've got a count here of 100. So that 100 is means the, uh, the 100 of those cells that I've highlighted are um, completed or have values. So we want a way of counting those values or counting those number of cells that have things in them. So we do that using a special count function called a count A. Um, also, you need to remember that we're going to be looking at this column. Okay, so the number of uh, two days of gaming per week, and there's all of the different responses in here. Um, and you can see that I've named this range of cells no game days. That should be okay. There it is. Just you can't see it because you can't see all the value. So it's no game days. So we're going to be using that value and we're going to be doing a count A function first. So let's start with that count A function. So I go equals count A. Okay, I'm going to open a bracket and it's asking me to highlight the number of cells that I want to count. So I'm going to go back onto my cleanse data sheet. So I'm not using a named range this time. I'm actually using a highlighted range. So I'm going to highlight all the way down my list, not including the heading. because I don't want to include that in the count and I've highlighted all my list. So I'm going to close the bracket off there, but I'm just going to take you through what this is. This is called a three-dimensional cell reference. And a three-dimensional cell reference is one where um, data is used from one sheet in a formula in another. So we're also, we're, at the moment we're doing a, fu a, fu a function or a formula in the analysis sheet, analysis one, but we're actually bringing in data from the cleanse data sheet. And that's the cell reference. So that's the, what that is saying, it's count all, count A from the cleanse data sheet in cells A2 to A101. And when I press enter, that should count and put 100 responses in my number of responses. Now that's the value I'm gonna use in a minute in my function. So what I'm gonna do now is the count if function to count these values. So equals count if, and this is no different than you've done before. I'm gonna open a bracket and it's going to be called no game days. Okay, no game days, comma. And if you remember, this is string, so I need to put a y, okay, because those are the three possible values y, n, not answered. And I'm going to close my bracket. So there's 70 people that have responded yes, they're taking two days, game, uh, two days break from gaming per week. Same thing for no, I'm going to go equals count if. I'm going to open a bracket, no gain days, comma, and I'm going to put N in that one. And then finally, I'm going to do a count if, count if, I'm going to open a bracket, and this time it's going to be no gain days, comma, and this time in speech match, not answered. Okay, I forgot to put the speech mark on the end and then press enter. Okay, so I now have my uh, values and those values add up to 100. So 70 plus 19 is 89 plus 11. So all I'm gonna do on the end of there is divide that value by my total number of responses by R2. Okay, same thing here, divide that by R2. And the same thing here, divide that by R2. No. Nope. Divide that by R2. I'm going to highlight each of these and I'm now going to convert those to a percentage. So I can either click this button here, okay, or I could drop the list down on the side there. So I've clicked this button and you can now see that my responses are now displayed as percentages. So that's how you display a count if as a percentage.